Take your life if I wanted to. I do a lot of military. It's military inclined. I was shot four times. You get off the off the table. You go retaliate and do some hurt your friends, it becomes a gang situation. Next thing you know, y'all up against the militarily, and then y'all become a militarized zone. something about what happens on an everyday life over here, man. Each and every day, it's the same niggas, the same people, the same community, whatever. We don't change. Yeah, so, niggas uh, like us, man, we get up every day with the same attitude, man, with the same attitude to do the same shit. You know what I'm saying? We get up every morning, get dressed, get flamed, however. Get high, high, get loaded. Pop a smurf. <laughs> I woke up one day, man, I was laying in the pit. I was in prison, you know what I'm saying? And uh, come to find out, one of my, my ex, ex, you know what I'm saying, one of the... Well, Tree G, you know what I'm saying? This nigga been around forever. A nigga that we all never thought of die, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, we found out nigga some, some crabs killed him in cold blood. We thinking nigga, it was some, it was some under, under the line type of shit, you know, some shit that, you know what I'm saying, nigga that shouldn't have happened. Lives get took over here, man. You know what I'm saying? Through crab killing crabs, trying to get at the homies doing their little thing. We done got a lot of homies that got blasted on. Of course, y'all know, y'all know how it go. You know, it's gunplay, gang play. That's how we do it. We had some homies, you know, in Inglewood, on 111th Inglewood, got killed, you know. Some bloods, you know, it's bloods killing bloods, you know what I'm saying? We lost five homeboys and homegirls, you know what I'm saying? They came in and shot my homies in the head and shot the homegirl in the head and shot her in her stomach, you know, she was pregnant by the homie. We got homies was gone and dead and ain't finna be here for their kids. We gotta watch their kids come up and grow up. You know, we Look lost a homie, home. you know what I'm saying? He was in his car with his kids, you know, pumping some gas, wasn't G'd up or nothing. We gotta be the father of their kids, cause they ain't here to, you know, handle their business with their kids or somebody else that took their lot. You know, it's just hard out here. 
But it's like this every day, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not easy out here. You know what I'm saying? The homies is, you know, everybody, niggas is dying, man. Mamas is crying. We, you know what I'm saying? We need to come up with a solution to try and do something with this old bullshit. And it's hard out here. It ain't easy. Y'all thinking it's an everyday life story. Every day we come outside, we got to watch our back. But until then, it's going to be L's, man. Because the way that my homie died, man, is the way it's going to keep on cracking, man, until somebody changed something. That's the way it is. We got homies in the pen doing life for shit, you know. They ain't even dead. Nigga, whoa, whoa, West Side L. Until all my big homies, you know, in that jail life, you know what I'm saying? What's happening, you know, much love for, you know, we're trying to keep it going, you know what I'm saying? But whoever bring the noise, you know, to 109th and Figaro, you know what I'm saying? We got to handle our business. We ain't let nobody step on our toes. Bloods, rips, or whoever. Right here, these are the active niggas that's right here from L Gang. These your original HTA killers. Booba killers, Broadway killers, Framing killers, anybody killer that wants static with the L killer. Y'all know how we do it. Moms, kids, whatever. How we got to do this, we gonna do it. Oh, um, plus, I don't be scared. I'll be like, nigga, uh, all that's a drilling, homie. It ain't no, yeah, when I, time anytime, I think, anytime I think that that's fair, I know that's a drilling because everybody get it. Before each fight, nigga, I don't give a fuck if you know you can get him. If you know what's going down, nigga, that's a drilling, nigga, for me. That's a drilling. I'm like, I gotta react. If I can't concentrate, nigga, I'm gonna clip your chin. I can't concentrate. I gotta do it right quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My scariest instinct, scariest time I thought I was gonna die of blood, I swallowed some dope. And I'm thinking I can swallow the dope, go to jail and shit it out or something, you understand me? <laughs> nigga, I swallowed that motherfucking quail old nigga, I was in the hospital, nigga, like a motherfucker. Yeah, um, you know what I'm saying? It's an everyday thing on the hundred and night. We uh, we trying to make it happen, man. You know what I'm saying? Two Each and every day we, hey, hey, he's still on it. Every day we, you know, we crab killing, man. It's like that. Hundred and ninety trigger roll. Denver Street. Denver Street. Fuck crabs. Fuck framers. Fuck busters. Y'all niggas are snitching. CK Fig. Fuck crabs. Oh. Straight DLs, I'll be fuck crabs. You know what I'm saying? Mr. A Ball. Yeah, what? See my dog. Get the dog right here. Get right here. Get the dog. This is the way we do things. We put it down like this. It's Devil Line Gangsta Blood. Originally from Denver Street, Denver Avenue. Mess around, we get stuck like a wig. My shady ass niggas on the floor, these men trying to see you win. 25, three strikes, you run in this game. The pimp is ain't Jack Jack. Well, I was uh, coming from work and um, going through the little store, man, a couple of homeboys. And I decided to take the little back route. And I see these guys in the alley with blue rags around their face, you know, and he was in my neighborhood. He was in my neighborhood and they seen me. And they came up, as soon as they saw me, they just immediately attacked me. And when I hit him, the gun fell from right here. So I looked at the gun. So I kicked the gun up on the trash can because I knew that dude couldn't hang with me from his shoulders. So as we got the squabbling, I hit him, he went down to the ground, I got on top of him, and the, his homeboys came, saw me on top of him. One dude kicked me on the side, I grabbed his foot, and I started socking bow, bow, and the other two dudes, they ran. They had went to go get guns. And when they came back, they blasted me. I was shot four times, in the back and both my arms. I was shot in the back once, this arm twice, and this arm once. Back of one right there, and then the bullet mark in, in the back, it went straight through the back part right there. Get your money, nigga. Get your key. Get your money, nigga. Get your key. I'ma set this off on Compton when my peeps be serving and be a in them six pies and chip. Little nigga on the corner can make a gift. Serving for that big man. Hey, making them dollar bills, money. But that ain't the lie. What he doing with the cops and keys? By providing for the other nigga next. His hate gate Cause it ain't AC. Serving on the block. Just a little nigga named Shake. By the other homies in the clique. Running a tighter grip. Well, they older. Plus you a little G. Like Lil T. Now Lil T is a fool who lived down Crenshaw. West side. Where they who ride and run the fucking show. Just so you know, that's what you get. Once trying to jack, then let the homie for his friends. I'ma set this off on Compton. When my peeps be bouncing, creeping. I'ma set this off on the show. When my peoples be serving and dipping. I'ma set this off on the west side. When niggas be blooding and creeping. I'ma set this off on the show. I 
I can, I can remember back in the day when I first shot a motherfucker. I was so high and so drunk that my whole body was numb. You know, my frame of thought was nothing. I was just sick. I just wanted to mash the motherfucker. I just wanted to see the bodies hit his, the bullets hit his body. You know what I'm saying? That's what I did. I hopped out the car, moved up on the nigga, and, and pumped for lead, for nothing. Just for that, just for that fame and that glory. So motherfucker, I can go back to the hood and motherfucker say, yeah, oh yeah, you smoked that nigga. Oh, that's Capone. Oh, that's he a rider. You know, all that good old shit. That's how I felt. It gave me energy, you know what I'm saying? To sit up here and say, okay, nigga, I can extinguish you if I wanted to. I can, I can, I can, I can take your life if I wanted to. It was just that simple. It was easy for me. If you had a problem with me, I can extinguish you. I can just kill you. You know, Crips got this shit started. You know, they called it. Crips because it meant community revolution and progress. Crips is about helping people, helping the community. But see, it's all twisted. The game is fucked up now. It's not like that no more. Over the years, you know what I'm saying, it's just deteriorated. You know, niggas started, niggas started bringing guns. You know what I'm saying? Niggas wanted to shoot. Okay, then a whole lot of other individual cliques got into it. You know what I'm saying? It was just some sick shit that I was in. And I'm still in it to this day. You know what I'm saying? Once you commit yourself to it, it's a lifetime guarantee. Because if you try to get out, they're going to whoop your ass and say that, no, you committed for life. This is what you choose to live. This is your life. You choose to lead it this way. You choose to represent the underworld. You choose to represent crime, violence. Murder, mayhem, only way out is death. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way you can get out of gang, baby. somewhere that the most important element of war is the use of spies and decoys. Because upon a spy lies the ability for the army to move. And with the decoy lies the element of surprise, which is half the battle. Hey, baby, what's happening? Hey, are you come back? On August 10th, 1990, about 2.30 p.m., I was spies with a homegirl pumpkin and another young lady in the father's truck. They and it will become our Trojan horse. When the smoke cleared, there were two black men dead, two life sentences, and one 18-year sentence. As for the young lady who drove the truck, her parents had lots of money and a damn good lawyer who was able to convince the jury that she was carjacked and forced to play the role she did in the killings. Which we all know that ain't true. Your dead homies died because of you. Because you here, because they dead. Because if they was if they was alive, you'd be dead. Represent that shit, nigga. Because you got young dudes out there courageous, ain't giving a fuck, ain't got a job, ain't got no education. Young riders, all they talk about is getting some fresh ass gear. Some boss gear, canai, fubu. Motherfuckers talking about getting some fresh ass Jordans, blue and gray. Motherfucking hat with your hood on it, representing. That's all you living for, is for the next day to be fresh and get a page from a bitch you want to dig out. Ain't that real, nigga? You talking about you slang, get your money, get your chips. But the point is, some motherfuckers violate your neighborhood, you got to go kill. What happens? You kill them, they kill you dead homies.
a dude come up to me, but not to my table. Free Remy, we, we got Remy flowing. Full throw 60, Whew. in my face. I look in his eyes though, he looking above me. So I say, 30 of them motherfuckers, right on top of me. I'm like, oh. Be a shootout against my phone. That's what I thought. And uh, I went to the bathroom, you know, take my shit in the mirror, make sure I went bulging and shit. Back up there, was ready to die. Sat in the booth, took a shot of Remy, and just turned around, look, take my hat off, took my, my handkerchief, black handkerchief, rubbed my head, make sure they see me, put my hat back on, turned my head, and wait to get shot in the back of the head. Didn't get shot, like in about five minutes. I'm like, these motherfuckers, yeah. They ain't even know who I am. They guppies. And I'm a shark. I can eat these motherfuckers up. But I had these scissors with me. I had three scissors with me. Prominent scissors in the music industry. And I couldn't fuck up. Because it had been on me. I seen Papi LQ from the 60s. I walked up to him. I said, hey, yo. I said, I'm a monster, man. A gangster. I got rigid, I pulled him to me, I said, look, I, said, I ain't tripping. Yo, I ain't tripping, I ain't tripping. I said, it's good to see y'all, and walked away. And that motherfucker was like this. At that point, because I had him, dead bang. If I was on some 60 killing shit still, I'm not saying I won't be tomorrow, but today I ain't, and then I wasn't. Of life. Dead right. But for sure. And if they push up on me, I got to do what I got to do. And if I see someone, it may be a good day. I may be smoking a blunt, drinking some Zay, yak, and I just may say, fucking just go kill one of them motherfuckers. That's just me. My neighborhood is a small neighborhood. In the scheme of things, as far as South Central goes and the whole culture of banging, my neighborhood is small, like 350 people. And, um, as a small hood in South Central. My hood's livelihood is military. It's militarily inclined. We get our kicks off killing motherfuckers. Riding, banging, pulling guns, shooting, robbing, taking shit. Yeah, I'm Dusty Loco from West Side Harlem Crip. Uh, I started gang banging because I came from a broken home. I was staying my father at a young age. And he really didn't care too much about me, so I chose to go to the streets for comfort. Yeah, my name is uh, Bill Rock, I'm H-Way Gangster, West Side. Um, I started banging like, uh, you know, uh, when I was like 12. You gotta be in high school to recruit junior high. If you're from the set, you can recruit junior high. If they're from your area, you know what I'm saying? The homies, little, the sister, the homegirls, little brothers, the homeboys, little brothers, homeboys, little sisters. You know, they, those fall automatically in our, into our area, the jurisdiction. We get the first pick, first round draft pick. We get them first, you know what I'm saying? Because they in our hood. Then we go up to a school to say recruit, then that's like second, third round draft pick. We might not get them because the other hood been court than where they live at. It's all about shit like sports, man. This shit is, man, this shit is legitimate. A motherfuckers ain't tripping up no illegal shit. Motherfuckers trying to get their hood deep, period. It's like motherfuckers, it's like Thompson over at Georgetown trying to get his team right. This is a team, man. You got shooters, you're like, you got guards. You got motherfuckers who going to do three free, free throws. You got motherfuckers that snipe. You got motherfuckers do banks. You got motherfuckers that do other shit, dribble, cross crisp, and all that old other shit. I ain't in the sports. I wear this shit because this gang shit. I'm just saying, man. Man, it's just like sport. Everybody trying to recruit. We got talent scouts and ours and all that old bullshit. Like any other motherfucker, man. Group straight up. Represent. Hey, hold up. Go back, man. From H Ray Gangster, homie. All right. H Ray Gangster, West Side, homie. Yeah, I know. I stay in your hood on Florence and Normandy. I'm Monster Cody. Oh, for real? What's up? What's your name, homie? Chaos. What's up, Chaos? So that's someone sponsored you into the hood. You may have played Pop Warner with him. You may have had
had sex with his sister, humped her, or played hide and go get it with her. But you look up to him because he dresses cool. He got some wallabies on. He fresh. He kicking it. And not no nutrient wallabies. Talking about from the seventies. He's a dude dressing cool. Got some corduroys on with a little cuff, a rolling shirt. Maybe got a, you know, pressing curl and shit, a earring, and that shit was fresh back in the seventies. You like, damn man, shit. I want to be like him. But he's the gangster. He's a hustler. He belongs to a hood. So you start joining a hood to identify with him, but then you start identifying with other people you meet who are, who are as just as cool as him. So the next thing you know, these dudes get hurt. One of them get hurt who you dig. And um, one of them get hurt who you dig, and you be like, damn, man, I dig this dude. You go retaliate on the dudes who hurt your friend, it becomes a gang situation. The thing you know, y'all up against it militarily, and y'all become friends, then y'all become intertwined in this action of criminality, and then y'all become a militarized zone. Where this hood, this house, this particular street is being clocked by dudes who know you shot their friends, so now y'all locked in with the heat. So now it's like, damn. Then y'all start claiming that shit, representing. I got put on the hood by going out, smoking a stick, and riding on some enemies. I hopped in the car one day. I don't want to say no names, but one of the homies from the hood told me, nigga, if you want to be from the hood, this is what we do. Nigga, we finna get shermed up. And we finna go smoke some of these enemies. If you down, if you do this, then I consider you as, as a hoop. I started gangbanging because I have a, a couple brothers who, you know, I have one older brother who started banging and I seen what they was doing. I, I kind of thought it was cool. Back to the OG though, man. These my little OGs, you know. They over here regulating all that old shit. You know how they do it, you know. They're young and all, but they're going to grow up in the future, you know, to be something, you know. Initiating somebody, I was I was in on a couple of initiations. If that's the case, you know, hey, you you can come ride with us. If if, if you don't want to blast, then we can we can get out. You know, you can do a roll call. You can do a soul train line. You know, we all get. You just got to walk that line. We all stand on the side, and you know, you get socked up. This shit started back when I was young. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with all my brothers. Seeing all my brothers gang bang, doing their thing and shit, I was the last one. You know what I'm saying? At first I didn't get off, I didn't want to get off into it. But you know, seeing them doing all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Being ghetto fabulous, everybody glorifying them and shit, I was like, well fuck it, I might as well do the same thing. So I hooked up with a little click. We banged for a minute or two, we did our thing, you know what I'm saying? But then it wasn't enough for me. I wanted to be represented the real way. So I got with some sick ass niggas, you know what I'm saying? You know, that showed the nigga how I really to smash on the motherfucking how, how it's put down on these streets. Being initiated wasn't no thing. All you had to do was just go put in some work, go ride on your enemies. And that's what we did, you know what I'm saying? What's the process of I'll becoming be the, a blood? Yes, sir. I'm gonna tell you right now. The process, it ain't no one day process. Because it's like, you know what I'm saying? For one, can't no motherfucker nobody come over here. First thing, you move over here from somewhere else, talking about you want to be from this here, where you just come from. Wherever you came from, nigga, you better go take out them suckers. Yeah, this right here, this that TGB, you know? Tiny gangs and young, young, young thugs, no cut right here. That mean we don't care about nobody out here. You know, from TGBs, it's like, oh, young niggas, you know? 17, 18 on down, 16, 15, 14, all that good stuff. We out here be doing the most, you know what I'm saying? Doing that gangster shit, you know what I mean? Right here, the little homies, whether they like eight years old, hitting the hood up. They with it, you tell me if they with it or not. You know what I'm saying? Them gangsters, them motherfuckers gangsters, homie. My mind is slipping, can I handle it? These demons on my shoulders got me feeling sick. My hood worst enemy is everybody. We anybody kill us. So why, we, why should we consider ourselves Crips when all we do is kill Crips? That's why we turned criminals and started wearing arms. Whatever happens, when I walk off this house, I know my enemy could be on it, it could be coming to get me. But I wouldn't give a fuck, because I got my heat, so if anything happen, I'm going to shoot this nigga. You know what I'm saying? The sick thinking that I, I used to think when I was younger. Your enemies, they're going to always find you. 
no matter what, what's going to happen, they're going to always see you. Wherever you go, they're going to they gonna find a way to get at you. That's my homies out here. I love all these niggas who's out here, you know what I'm saying? And ain't, this ain't no shit you just, you know, you finna just come and just kick back and realize, oh, I'm finna be a gangbanger and sell some dope and all this goofy ass shit. It ain't all it's just about selling dope. You can lose your life out here. You can lose your family. You can lose your loved one. A gang is a family. You know what I'm saying? I love each and every nigga out here. Yes, I love Cash. All I do is make new yeah. niggas. All day, homie, that's all I do. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. Do you? Do people be just out here just gangbanging, killing all that old stuff? I get my money out here. You know what I'm saying? There's money involved over here, too. Not just that gangbanging stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I mean, myself, I bang for the money, you know? I love my money. I be out here banging for my money, too, as well as I be banging for the hood, you know? But if I catch a nigga slipping, especially a crab nigga, a problem nigga, I'm going to do it. You already know how that goes. It's the same with your hood and with other people's hood. Your enemy you got to do them. So that's how I be around here. Yeah. These are my niggas right here. These are niggas that's with me from roots. We don't want to ground up. Blue tips, penetrate your bulletproof vest, huh? What? You best have stolen to see me. Belling in my combat boots, 30 yard in a bean. Bang to the boogie, and boogie to the bang. This is West Coast food, about to let my nuts hang. Triple clips in my coupe, so what you want to do? I got my whole crew after you. Try to keep our livelihood right. We ain't got no skills. We ain't got no vocational, technical skills. Motherfuckers is thugging. Selling drugs, trying to get up in this music industry. Motherfuckers trying to live. Motherfuckers trying to be like Master P. From the Black Sure. Puffy. Regular motherfucker from the street, man. Jermaine Dupree. You know, motherfucker Steve, man. Uh, up north, A Wall Record. Just regular motherfuckers in the street, man. DJ Quick. Motherfuckers coming up. We know he's in the street. Not no motherfuckers like old bitch ass Ice Cube. Ice Cube. <laughs> Stuff they need to remember. O'Shea is cool, right? I mean, O'Shea in the strength that the brother's an entertainer. Other than that, he ain't no gangster. He ain't never shot nobody. He ain't from 111. He ain't from the neighborhood. Grew up on, what, 108th and Van Wick, something like that. Man, that's Van Wick, some shit. He ain't no gangster, but the way he parlays, he tends to make people believe he's the real G. And to be a G means to be able to put work in and be in the street and be, in, be respected. Well, you can come on 108th and Western without WC. That's some real motherfuckers. It means being able to, you know, write motherfuckers like JD and send some chips. Get a lawyer for a motherfucker. Real G shit. Oh, he's the entertainer. I ain't got no problem. He got some dope lyrics, but he ain't living that shit. And motherfuckers tend to think that he is. I be getting letters. Motherfuckers think, talking, what's up with Ice Cube, your OG homie? And that ain't true. Ice Cube is not a crip. He's not a blood. He's not really a thug. He's an entertainer. And that's the real, that's the dope. And you got to get that bullshit out your head. Because what he talking about, he ain't living. And what I lived is what I'm talking about. To my bullet holes and scars. To my 19, 20 years in prison. YA, Camp, Juvenile Hall, San Quentin, Folsom, Solidad, Corcoran, Pelican Bay, Chino, the whole. Ice Cube ain't never been nowhere. He ain't never did no time. He ain't never had to face no motherfucking Mexicans. Except on the mic. And that's real. Don't be following no bullshit, because bullshit will get you killed. Real shit will get you killed, but bullshit will get you killed for sure. I think the police out here do primarily arrest criminals, irregardless of their hue, criminal allegiance, set, religion, faith, all that. They are out here to arrest criminals. And gang members tend to fall into the criminal realm. They're criminals. They shoot, kill, pack illegal weapons. They're criminals. So as a consequence of that, they have to have a gang division of the police department. No, but the pigs ain't out just to arrest a certain person. They, they are anti-criminal. Anti I ain't mad at them. That's their job. Five oh no, I ain't got nothing against them. As far as they being soldiers, taking money out of a bank, 
If they thwart me on some activity, I gotta get out with them. That's the rules. But I ain't gonna fuck with them for no reason, and they ain't gonna fuck with me. Cause I drive by the rules. I ain't got nothing against five volt. They push up on me, I'm getting ill. And the motherfuckers knowing it. I'm sitting on my porch cooling, smoking a blunt. We eat his legal, medicinal purposes. And the pigs roll by. I ain't talking about 5 0 police pigs. One time, I'm breaking. It's brothers and sisters in that motherfucker. And I know they're here to protect me and my property. See, that's the whole thing with us in America. Property relations. They got property and we don't. We rent. We don't own. As a consequence of them owning and us renting, they are landlords. And because they are lords, they can call the police. Because they pay taxes. And they're coming to defend the lords. The avenging angels, the pigs, the police. 5-0, one time. The rollers! The enemy. Soldiers. For sure. The motherfucking police look at you as you a gang member if you ain't even a gang banger. You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling with my homeboy in the front. We ain't even g up. Police want us to put our motherfucking hands on our head for what? Because we black? You know what I'm saying? You motherfucking white folks got the game out here fucked up. Y'all want us to keep killing one each other. You know what I'm saying? It's like a divide and conquer thing. It's like they're doing a the pig. Right? Same shit happening out here. Divide and conquer. You know what I'm saying? See, police know, police know that we, you know what I'm saying, got that, it's like, uh, we got that, you know what I'm saying, it's like a chemistry going now. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's out to fuck this money, you know what I'm saying? We all clicking up. So the police gonna try their hardest, you know what I'm saying, to keep us apart. You know what I'm saying? They can call this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Keep fucking over. They don't want to have meetings. They don't want to come ride the low riders nowhere and shit. You know what I'm saying? That type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Keep us off the streets and keep us frustrated and shit. So we bad each other instead of focusing on what's real. Six ninety-seven. I caught a violation in 98 in a place I shouldn't have been at one of my homeboys. That's back when I was serving dope and all that stuff. And got caught up in a raid, went back to the penitentiary, got back out, and now I'm just trying to do what I got to do to survive. Joe is like a spinoff of the streets. You know, only thing about it is, is you don't have your freedom. You know what I'm saying? And, and you got to do what them motherfuckers tell you to do. You got to eat, sleep, and shit when they tell you to. Yeah, I did like, uh, I did like nine and a half, you know what I'm saying? With, uh, starting in Solidad, went to Folsom, Pelican Bay, you know, was up there in the riots. You know, uh, Monster Cody is the type of brother, you know what I'm saying? You look at, uh, you see, uh, uh, a, a gang member come from the streets, and go into the pen and make a transition, you know, uh, doing write books about him, um, you know, to show how, how deep this shit and real this shit is, you know. Running across each other in a hole in the solid, Dad. You know, was that like, what, 91, 92? Uh, you know, I've been hearing a lot about this change he went through, he was going through, you know, for us pushing this, you know what I'm saying, pro-Africanism, you know. That's all cool. Uh, I look at it like, you know what I'm saying, put, yeah, just because we're criminals, they don't, they don't think we know our rights and you know what, and what you know what I'm saying, the society is trying to do to us, you know what I'm saying, as black people, you know, but, you know, uh, he made the transition and, and showed everybody that, you know what I'm saying, he's, you know what I'm saying, he's very intelligent and articulate, you know what I'm saying, man, you know what I'm saying, you know, he's telling you like it is, you know, if you don't like to hear it, you know what I'm saying, it's just, you know, it like you heard it before. Martin Luther King said it, Malcolm X said it, you know, Mahandi Gandhi said it, you know, so he said you the same thing they were saying. But they won't look at him like, you know what I'm saying, he used to be public enemy number one or something. You know, but everybody fears the truth, you know what I'm saying, when it's coming at you, raw, you know what I'm saying, and, and uh, uh, just rawing up in your face. Of course, I was in Pelican Bay. Pelican Bay is a level five institution located on the Oregon border. 15 minutes from Oregon, you know. 60% of the people there are from, Cali um, from Los Angeles, but they have us way up north. I had an indeterminate shoe term. I was locked in um, solitary confinement for five years. I spent five years there. But I came out one hour a day, sometimes 90 minutes, depending on how I felt. Um, 
It was there I began to work on Monster, the book, and I, I, I didn't really anticipate any response. Actually, I was actually bleeding, feeling like, you know, this was the exorcism, you know what I'm saying, getting off my chest, some shit I did to the black community and felt awkward about coming into my consciousness. So I wrote it there, you know. And Illuminati is the illuminated few. It means control. We have been duped into believing that we have been citizens of this country, not only new Africans, but Americans. There is no country. America is not a country, it's an empire. And inside of it, just like Rome, there are several nations and nationalities, those willing to break free if they could. But the Illuminati has such a hold on us. As a consequence of economics, we become a consumer society. And capitalism has ripped and torn apart nations and created tears and got us eating at flea markets and swap meets. And y'all think that shit is real. Have people come up to another level than where we at already. I'm already unstable. I need some yak and a blunt. I can get off. Give me a pistol and I'm gone. <laughs> For sure. As long as they got banks open, we have money. We good. Real motherfucker. And they can withdraw in a minute. But ask some motherfucker. All this shit. When I had this shit last time, fool. Wells Fargo, motherfucker. I'm a real dude. You know, I ain't trying to put on no airs. I made a little money, 850000 That ain't shit. For sure. It may seem like a lot. When it's tax free, you come out of the bank, that's a lot of money. But when you fuck with some legal shit, that ain't shit. Uncle Sam was like this far up in my pocket, yo. Look, I'm a thug motherfucker. Ain't never had a job. All of a sudden I write this book, boom, book blow up. Pay a motherfucker. Riches, real shit. Y'all niggas ain't knowing. I'm telling you, real shit. Money, cars, fresh ass boots, all that old shit. Jury, thug shit. Book blew up. All the motherfuckers came. People Magazine, Esquire, LA Times, New York Times, The Globe, Boston. Oh man, Washington Post. Motherfuckers was on me, The New Yorker. First, what they want to know, did you really write this book? How could an uneducated motherfucker dropping out of sixth grade, go to prison? We have set you up for failure, period. You do not breathe. Period. You're going to go to prison, juvenile hall, camp, youth authority, prison. You're going to join a prison gang. You're going to either get stabbed or you're going to stab people. You're going to spend the rest of your fucking life in solitary confinement. You are finished, Cody Scott. And I said, no. Nah. Fuck no. Hell no. I ain't finished, yo. I got a spirit of a thug in me. And not just no regular, ordinary thug. I'm not like Sin Q. Motherfuckers rebelling against the system. And that's thug shit. Boom. They wheeled me out, chained me up, dressed me up, sent me in front of these motherfucking cameras. And Whitey was like, feeding on a motherfucker. Because it was the first time that a real motherfucker spoke from the heart. Florence and Normandy, Monster Cody. A Trey gangsters on the real. Real thug motherfuckers. Motherfuckers want to be like us. All over this motherfucker. And I ain't proud of this shit. We did it. That's fucked up. Now it's time to make amends. What we're saying now is this. Period. The book blew up. It was necessary, but it wasn't sufficient. We got to drop more. We got to do more. Because that's only print. And black people, unfortunately, do not read. Ask me no questions, I tell you no lie. We making it okay, squill our own both coast, so ride and get high. We got, got what you need, be it weed, tweed, or speed. So break down the bud, man, and separate them seeds. Do that in the evil men that have a desire to run with can't trust their eyes. He lying with silent, or be putting that violence. He always talking about separate and calamity. Then police be coming and jamming me. Because this is the capital society. The main pursuit is after the almighty dollar. The dollar is the uh, main source of being, health, and prosperity in this society because dollars come first. So the man or the woman, they, they become secondary in the equation in this society. So what they try to do is try to either get the money or try to out-equate the money. And as a consequence of that, they become criminals. Criminality, man, and, um, and, and the different classes and things that it creates, the haves and the have-nots. Some of us have not, and those who have, we try to get what they've got by any means necessary. 
because we take what Malcolm said literally without analyzing what Malcolm really meant. And a lot of times, man, shit just happens, man. You know, we develop like that. The point is, we're under attack. And we try to do whatever we can, man, outside of the workforce, outside of the capitalist grind to do what we can on the underground. And that's that's the black market, man. They call it the black market. We call it the underground. We call it the grind. We call it the hustle. Whatever you call it is that you get your money outside of the system. You ain't paying taxes. You you are at odds ominously with the system. You know what I'm saying? You're outlaw. And that's what we consider ourselves, man, outlaws. Regardless, man, what we do illegally or illegally, we just don't click with the system. You're going to be out here in the streets in this game. You're going to be tripping off this, this, this money. That's what it's all about. That's what we all out here, folks. That's why we all run these streets. All after that one thing. Red and blue, you know what I'm saying? Orange, whatever you want to have it, you know what I'm saying? And focus on one thing. You know what I'm saying? It's green. You know what I'm saying? It's green. You know what I'm saying? The Benjamins. That's what it's all about these days. And if you can't do that, you know what I'm saying? You're all going to go down. Motherfucker, get your shit right. It's about money. Anything you into, it's about money. You can break it down as many times you want to. You want a life, you want this, you want that. What it take? Money. Everything is about money. The next five years, nigga, I'm gonna be making millions, nigga. I ain't gonna be doing none of this shit no more. Because it's like, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, basically, we out here killing for free. We killing for free like a motherfucker. I'm at to show my son, or so I have my daughter, how to get money. You wear snakes and suckers, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's like, once that didn't happen, I'm going to have to do that. But I'm going to have to keep shooting them loves to get your money. I said, I ain't even with all that old Man, foolishness no more. You know, I'm out here making my money, you know? I'm out here getting loot, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm doing. I'm out here making cash, you know, on a regular basis. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm out here, bro. That's all I do is make loot in the hood. All day, homie, that's all I do. I, I love it, I love it, I love it. You know, and, uh... I'm with a gang of homies, we all kicking it, we all chilling. So I see an enemy that I knew. Caught him at the liquor store, in the parking lot. Hopping in this car. So I go get him, I mash him, but I ain't got no heat. The homies got some heat, but they way, they far away. So I go, I, I mash him like, nigga, what's that? Nigga, what that Hoover like, nigga? You know? And oh, oh nigga, it's raining, it's raining, okay. So I, I sock him. He hopping in this car, but I'm hitting him while he in this car. You know, he mashes off. He hops in his car. He rolls his window up and he and he and he and he just does a U-turn and then spins out and go into the street. I'm telling you, motherfucker, bring your ass back. Let's finish this, nigga. Let's chunk him like two G's. Do it, nigga, in the middle of the street. I'm gonna give a fuck. Oh, but no, he had to go pull his gun out. And when I seen him, he put his gun out and he shot four times. I got hit twice. You know what I'm saying? For being stupid. But I didn't care. If I was going to die that night, I was going to die. For representing my flag. My gang. The niggas that I feel that, that, that I got love for, that got love for me. Her brothers came, beat BB up at the 60s, broke his rear, threw him in the trash can. Homies felt offended. We got to fight Friday. After school, we got to fight. You know how it is. They went on the side of Hobart. Friday, homies, head up. That's what we usually do. Them is our tight. 60s is our dogs. We ain't tripping. Head up, handle that beef, squash it, step on. Fatty started fighting with uh, Tyrone. Tyrone's brother was Big Rick, OG 60, rider, moneymaker, hustler, thug motherfucker. Him and Fatty fight. Boom, bat, boom, both dick youngsters. Boom, bat, boom, bat, 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 boom. Squalling. Who named Daryl Oaks, the hood just recruited. He was really from 9-0. Went around the corner, got the strap from the homie. Came back. He was on the hood like two days. He thought it was something more serious than just the fisticuffs. And that's all it was. And it's 79. Who this is 70s. It's September. 79. Man, it's still the 70s. It's all about this, fool. Fool come back with the heat. Tell Fatty, move, dump. Boom, boom. Kill Tyrone. Shoot him in the head and the chest. Shoot Bogart. Boom, from the 60s in the stomach. Rest of them break. We all break, too. We're like, damn. Man, what you tripping on? 60s come in the hood, though. Big Rick, the OG, baby face. Baby Huey. 
Motor Miles, 60s, OGs, killers. Come in the hood. All they want is a shooter, kill their brother. They ain't tripping. Like, man, we want the motherfucker to kill my brother. So Big Rick said. And we was like, man, we, ain't, we don't know him. We didn't. He just started claiming the hood in two days. We couldn't give him up. We didn't know the motherfucker. Fools them took it as a sign of us saying we ain't giving him up. We threw a big meeting, big sidewinder, big Keystone all in from the 60s, big Joe Rat, Mumbles, Mumpy. Threw a big meeting at the park. The meeting became a big gang fight. It, um, it, it um, fell into um, name calling, disrespect. People started getting hit, bombed on. It turned a big gang fight. Pigs came, helicopter 40 feet off the ground. Ran everybody off. From that point, September 27th, 1979, the Rolling 60s and the A-Trades have been mortal enemies. They've killed um, over 20 of my homies. And we've killed over, I'm sure, 27, 28, 9 of them. Black men, young men, unfortunately, uh, just been getting cut down in this war since September 27th, 29th, 79, man. And, um, it's hectic. I've been shot seven times. I've been shot six times by rolling 60s. Six times at once. One time I was robbing a man, was shot. The war is taking a toll. Every criminal act I've committed has been in commission in trying to destroy, in some aspect, the rolling 60s. Crip organization, and um, my whole life has been spent primarily on that mission. Today, even now, I consider myself a rolling 60 killer. Fuck, how much money I got, or whatever. Dude shot me six times, killed 20 of my homies. Motherfuckers I knew, you know what I'm saying? I grew up with, played Pop Warner with. My mothers knew their mothers. Broken houses with these motherfuckers. Rolled bicycles, swins. Nigga, not no red lines, no mongoose, nigga. Swins, huffies. Nigga, I rolled huffies with these motherfuckers. Street king skates. Not no motherfucking big rubber wheels, nigga. Street kings. Nigga, I'm 34. I was born in 63. Not 73. I've been around, man, with the school, man. Graduated in 75. Went to the seventh grade. And that was it. Motherfucker had to represent. From that point forward, I've been in war with not only motherfuckers around me, but with my own motherfucking self. Because I'm really a nice guy. And I don't like killing motherfuckers. But people around me tend to fall on sharp shit. They tend to, they tend to get holes in their chest. They tend to just get eruptions of the heart and aneurysms and just eternal bleeding. Motherfuckers be around me and I don't know, motherfuckers be falling around. Damn, I'll be like, damn, nigga, get up. And they think I shot him or something. I don't know why. I got a daughter, she's 17, she's pregnant. I'll be a grandfather this year. My daughter, I started seeing gang writing in the room on her PG folder, ETG this. I hit her up, you know, what's, that, what's this? Well, daddy, you got it on your neck. It can't be too bad. And I was so embarrassed at that point, you know, because my daughter was there, she was like 12, 11 or 12. And I didn't know what to tell her. But see, I got it on my neck, you know, I wasn't smart. You know what I'm saying? Unlike you, I didn't have someone to tell me that it wasn't cool because I didn't have nothing else to believe in. You know what I'm saying? So what I tried to do with her, my daughter, and did a pretty good job, was restoring her some culture, some sense of herself as an African woman, and primarily a new African woman. You know, someone who could rely on a culture and a sense of culture that is out of control. Television, violence, drugs, you know what I'm saying? The whole scheme of things that, you know, children tend to take in, and if all that is antagonistic to their original culture, they're gonna grow up whack. They're gonna grow up into a situation where they're gonna be violent. They're gonna be despondent. They're not going to uh, go with what is considered normal in this culture. And sometimes it's not normal for us as black people. And we got to understand that. A lot of times, we are being misled by a dominant culture that has not our best interest at heart. And so for the children, simply I would say, as a parent myself, monitor, please, the children's behavior as much as you can.
I came from a broken home. <clears throat> and uh, my pops did the best he could. My mother did the best she could. But it still wasn't enough, you know. They try to teach me to go to school. They try to tell me to go to school, get your education, you know, make something of yourself. But, you know, for me, living a structured life was just, it was just too hard for me. I wanted the easy way out. I wanted to go do some dirt. I wanted to go hang out and get fucked up and faded. Go fuck a hood rat bitch, you know what I'm saying? Get high, go, go mash on my enemy. You know what I'm saying? It feel good when I go back to the hood and niggas give me love for what I just did. Not knowing that I ain't doing nothing but hurting my own people. So I always kept that side of, that side of me from them. When I go home at night, you know what I'm saying? Oh, what you been doing? Oh, why your eyes red? You been doing something, you know? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I would always tell him, no, nah, I'm just tired. I've been out all night. I'm just tired. I just want to get some rest. He knew. It got to the point where I had to, he had to know I was from the game. He knew. But he didn't want to, he had so much love for me that he would, he told me so much and he taught me so much that I grew older and whatever I did, he had to accept it. That's what it's all about. Your family, your loved ones, the ones you love. You know? Them the only ones that matter right now. Because right now, that's all I got is my family. My family is who? You know, I can't get out of this shit. I'm stuck. I'm going to be I'm gonna be like this forever. We got families at home that love us, that we, but we choose to do this shit here. You know what I'm saying? Now, luckily, somebody was on our ass enough to actually be there. Because when the shit really did hit the fan, mama was the only one there, or daddy was the only one there. Now, one of these motherfuckers was really, really there. You feel me? Only your niggas that you really, really love and roll with you. Ain't no fear like my mama would have my ass. If my daddy would have been there to whip my ass, you know what I'm saying? I probably would have been here on this way you see that. Yeah. Kids look up to us. There's a lot of kids running around here think, you know, think we the world. You know what I'm saying? And what we don't show them is this. You know what I'm saying? We show them love. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't about just putting it down with the flame, the red all the time with the kids. The kids don't need to really know about this, man. You know what I'm saying? We all got children. We, we do things with our children. We take our children anywhere they need to be. You know what I'm saying? We taking care of our kids just like the average man. And this ain't all that same, man. You know, it's another side to us. We got morals. We got integrity. We trying to do things, too. You know, we want to make it in life. But it's hard because of this. You know what I'm saying? We was brought up in this. A lot of the, 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 the niggas you see right now is the niggas that was raised from here. We came up as child from this. You know what I'm saying? We was brought into it like it was hereditary. You know, all my family was gang members, so, you know, just, you know what I'm saying, like a natural thing to me, so. This type of lifestyle I lead, I got to stay secluded from my environment, from society, because of all the shit that I done been through. And, and right now, you know, I'm feeling like, shit, where do I stand in all this? From all the trials and tribulations I done went through and everything I done been through, dealing with the hood and all this shit. You get a judge, you get a white man gonna be looking at me stupid in the motherfucker when I try to tell them I'm doing more shit than just gang banging. They wanna see it. You know what I'm saying? So when I when I direct my shit to my crowd of folks, I'm directing it to the LA nigga, period. And when I direct my gang banging shit, I direct it to the gang bangers and the people that want to know about the gang bangers. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. We represent, nigga, uh -huh. for, the, for the hood, nigga. Crip, nigga. They want to slap these labels on us. Terrorism, we terrorists, we uh, scourges and all this shit. You know what I'm saying? You got Mexicans, you got whites, Asians, you know. Put them on, put them out there like you put us out there. You know what I'm saying? Don't put trans like, you know what I'm saying, we the bad people. I can't even go nowhere. I can't even really show my face. A lot of homies look at it like, yeah, you know what I'm saying, um, gangsters of all trades. Uh, you know, we can, you know what I'm saying, we can uh, uh, converse and talk, you know what I'm saying, and come at them on their level, you know. And, and it's like, you know, you know, we, we know, you know, so we know the truth, just, you know what I'm saying, the truth of uh, what's going on and, and what they trying to do to us, you know what I'm saying, as far as, you know what I'm saying, I'm portraying us like, you know what I'm saying, we're, we the one to kick this shit off. We, we actually, actually, we ain't kick this shit off. You know what I'm saying? All we want to do, you know what I'm saying, is, is get a piece of the pot like, you know what I'm saying, everybody else over here. The news put this into like a, 
you know, in the light where, you know what I'm saying, we all, you know what I'm saying, some negative people, but this is just, you know what I'm saying, in, in the way you look at it, you're negative and it's a positive because, you know, you got a lot of things that, you know what I'm saying, it started off as a good thing, you know what I'm saying, and it's still, to me, you know what I'm saying, it's like, you know, it's just the way of life, you know what I'm saying, the way people live out here in the ghetto, you know what I'm saying, it's another thing. Just to let Marble it be known, they call me Capone number two. Remember that, nigga? For sure! Uh -huh. Well, we got deep, deep. The nine dose A tray, 107, 11 doses. Killer. The it's payments, Hoover. It's Hoover Krispies. killer. We got bubble gum, busters. Gun. We got straight static with these motherfuckers. Got these is the niggas busters, that we are, that we added doses. with. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers. Cheese here, toast, it, we, 11 8 one it's nacho. Like a, it's like a every every year thing for us. You know what I'm saying? Day in and day out. Fuck we got one personal, nacho. We got fuck personal. One nacho. These these are niggas. Yeah, 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 the, the reason why nacho. the reason why we got homeboys that's land B I P N right now L I P N B I P N is because of some of these motherfuckers right here. Nigga, fuck crab, nigga. It's L A Brown, nigga. <laughs> this the real shit right here, man. It ain't we no doing fake it every day. That's an everyday, everyday thing. Ain't no banging on wax, none of that goofy shit. This is Straight real. Nice street, real motherfucking guy. life crab killer. I don't care. You game bang, you kill each other, that's on you. As long as me and my kids survive. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> that's real. Now that was. Watch who you fuck with and who you don't fuck with. Rip. Yeah, Monster Cody from Trey Gangster. That's Get on the film, nigga. Represent Occasion, nigga. Fuck them maskers, nigga. Represent that shit. Occasion OG. Fuck them maskers. I be rolling. Right, when you hear about all that little bullshit on TV, well, this is us. This is how we doing it. This, it the shit you see in there, narrated through the television, all that on cops, all that bull, that's weak. That's bullshit. This is real. This is where it's at right here. We out here every day. We do this every day, you know what I'm saying? We get our thing, I mean, thing on, we bust on crabs, whatever we got to do. We're doing it over here on the west side. Oh, I, got the, I got the microphone. I, I, I got to stand here with you. HKs, all that. We got all that good kind of shit, oh, shit. You see what I'm saying? And you're Straight a DLs, you know what I'm saying? That's what ain't no from, faking nigga. the fuck. The world-class you know, Divine gang. Straight gang. number one guy. Yeah, fuck it. the poop butt. <laughs> you know, fuck the fuck, 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 all that. You know what I'm saying? Fuck the poop butt. You know what I'm saying? Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. All right, all right. All right, all right. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Devil Lions, man, we like a blood gang from the 70s. You know, the early we've been 70s. going on and on. Y'all know, y'all done heard us on banging on wax three decades. Two, banging on uh, banging on rods, flaming, everything, man. We all, we're part of all this old thing right there, man. And we real, we true to it. You know what I'm saying? The Devil Lions is bloods, of course, you know what I'm saying? We don't give a fuck about really nobody. Like, I don't like it. I, I think it's wrong. But I can't change the way it's the way it is. It's been like that for years. It's not gonna change. There's too many, too many loved ones lost. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's too much bloodshed. You know what I'm saying? I mean, everything. You gotta look at that. You gotta look at that, how long people was beefing. You know what I'm saying? How long sets was beefing. You know what I'm saying? You got like say us in the '60s. They trade gangsters in the '60s. You know what I'm saying? Who was nine up? You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know that had never that had, that war I don't think will never cease. You know what I'm saying? In, in, in case you know unless. By some miracle, you know what I'm saying? So everybody sit down at one table, or something detrimental happened for us, you know what I'm saying? We got to come together as blacks. It's it ain't smooth. Language. It's just that we at war with the serenios. It ain't no, no race war. It's the serenios, the banging ones. If they get an order to move on one of us in our neighborhood, they'll move, right? And brothers in Crips and Bloods and shit ain't overstanding that. They move in retaliation, right? They should move on the Mexicans first. Fuck them and the enemy. Straight up. Fuck the Mexican mafia. That's the ones that's calling the shot. It ain't no race war. Well, we ain't got nothing against Mexicans. We ain't racist. They ain't racist. But the motherfucking Sorinos, motherfucking sewer rat ass motherfuckers, them the ones that's on. It's on with them for sure. I want everybody to come together, you know what I'm saying? Let's get this paper, you know what I'm saying? And get these motherfucking Mexicans in this body, you know what I'm saying? That's what I want to see happen, you know what I'm saying? Man, you know, I'm just a lonely man in this game.
nobody else to do this. This is a no-no. This ain't what you want to do. This is 2000. Don't do this now. This shit ain't easy, you know? And to the people out here, you know, looking at this shit, y'all need to pay attention to this. And all that stupid ass shit you thinking is just easy, robot, fucking bitches, that shit ain't cool. That ain't easy out here. We, are, we got crabs coming through every day, man, you know what I'm saying? Just like, just a, about two weeks ago, man, you know what I'm saying? The, homie, man, the homies hit the, hit the corner talking about the crabs coming through trying to get at us, man. This the shit, we got, the, we, got, we got to watch out for this shit every day, man. And all the little kids out there don't think this fresh and, you know, all proper or whatever, you know, go to school and get your education. Don't follow my footsteps. Don't make the same mistake as I made. Motherfucker, stay in school, nigga. If you want to bang, nigga, then you already know where it's headed, nigga. You already know where it's headed. It's we done lost too fucking much, nigga. Up or down, your mom and daddy ain't lying to you, fool. They ain't lying. So if you're gonna be with it, be with it or without it, nigga. I can't tell you nothing more than that. This shit ain't no joke right here. I mean, especially to the youngsters, you know what I'm saying? That's 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 getting off into this lifestyle. I mean, how you, how you gonna get off into this lifestyle and fuck your whole life off, you know? Just by just banging. When you can be doing something constructive with your life. You know what I'm saying? Go get an education, you know? Do something positive. Do something to make your mama feel good for once, you know? Make her say, okay, yeah, I'm proud of my son for what he done did. He done accomplished something, you know? Maybe you, you might not never get to go to Yale. You might never get to go to Harvard. But you can get a BA, an MD, an MB, or whatever that shit is called. You know what I'm saying? Because right now, you know, it's hard for us. It's 99, damn near 2000, the new millennium. And we ain't getting no fair ones. We can't get no fair ones. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, it's just hard for us young blacks right now. I'm, I'm gonna say this to every young black out there that want a gangbang. Gangbanging ain't the way, and gangbanging ain't the key. I'm, I'm just happy I survived so long. You know, to every youngster that's out there right now in America that, that feel he want a gangbang and do his thing and, and, and motherfuck everything else, you know what I'm saying? You got to be better than that, man. Do something constructive with your life, man. Because right now, man, we, we got it hard, you know what I'm saying? We already stereotyped from the gate, you know what I'm saying? Niggas, niggas hating on everybody already, you know what I'm saying? We got niggas against us, our own kind. We got whites against us, you know what I'm saying? You know, the system is against us. Everything we do, can't even get no, we can't even pick up heat, you know, and handle our business without, you know what I'm saying, suffering all these motherfucking repercussions behind it. Anybody, whoever it is, you got a gun and you try to do something and, 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 and go and murder and kill, you know what I'm saying? Your life is ended. You're going to spend the rest of your life in the penitentiary. So think about that, you know what I'm saying? Think about your future, because that's, that's all that matters right now. Right now, stay in school, you know, get you a degree, you know what I'm saying? Make something out of yourself, you know what I'm saying? So. If you, if you do still have people out of here, you know what I'm saying, when you do grow up and that's out here, just stuck, you know what I'm saying, in, in that revolving door, you tell them the same thing I told you. Do, do what you got to do. Don't make no wrong turns or nothing like that, because all it's going to lead you is, is, to, is death or, or jail. Don't even gang bang, man. It ain't worth it, man. You ain't here two places, dead or in jail. Plain and simple. So the ones who's out there who's gang banging, man, cut it out, man. There's too much other things going on in the world, man, for us to really be fighting amongst each other, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we need to be, we're a strong generation, you know what I'm saying? Us as black people are strong. We don't need to be fighting amongst each other over a red or blue rag or you in my neighborhood, I'm in your neighborhood. I heard like a voice telling me, you know, I'm gonna give you a chance to live because I have something else for you to do. You know, maybe this is, this is what it is, you know, putting a message out there, you know what I'm saying? Gang violence is it's not worth it. It's not worth it, man. I mean, I don't want to see no other kids going through what I've been through. The zone has now been itched. So open up that door. Let them rhymes go on vote from the house of pips and phone. For a young brother's ass if that's what you want. So ain't no need in trying to turn back. Let me grab a hold and show you that. This whole world is tripping, slipping off on that psychotic lick. A world of friends and foes and many not equipped to handle kicks and blows. Bumps and
was five years ago. But I remember like it was yesterday. Because time has been standing still for me ever since. Now, I don't know why this guy decided to run out of gas in my neighborhood. Because where I come from, that's a gangbanger no-no. The number one rule of gang banging is don't get caught slipping in another nigga's neighborhood. Let me break it down for you. Don't ride the bus in enemy territory because enemies look for you on them buses. Don't visit a girlfriend in enemy territory because if she fuck with you, nine times out of ten, she got a baby by one of your enemies. And don't, I mean don't, run out of gas. I never imagined taking someone's life until I attended my first gang funeral. I had a day at home. And it was kind of strange because I felt for him like I would my own mother or father. I was sad and angry at the same time. That made it easy for the older homies to talk me into riding with the drive-by party that night. America calls it propaganda. It's the same technique they use on U.S. soldiers in Vietnam. I mean, how else can you get people to kill perfect strangers they never met? I've been asked to tell you the war story that landed me in this hellhole for 25 years to life. say it must have been his time for him to run out of gas in that particular place at that particular time. I say God decides who lives and dies, not bloods and crips. I ain't really happy yet. And uh, I know a lot of brothers and sisters are feeling that now as a, as a consequence of pot articulating is that a lot of us are just unhappy in this existence as a consequence of uh, things that we've seen, people we've known, deaths we've come across, and none of us are really happy here. You know what I'm saying? So life a as an existence is just here, then it's there, then I'm rolling. And that's how it is, you know, for real, yo. Know? I've been out here doing this shit, nigga, all this shit, nigga, all my life, homie. All this shit, nigga, all my life, look. All my life, homie. We can counsel children, youth, whatever. You know, there's a lot of things we can do, man. 
lot of things we can get into. But, you know what I'm saying? Right now, it's, it's hard. But, you know, the best the, the best thing about life is it, it, it's never a can't. You, it, you can't never say can't, man. It's, it ain't nothing you can't do. Really, to be truthful about this situation. It ain't nothing a young man can do, man. As long as you're young, you got action. I regret that I even started gangbang, man. She hurts me every day. I got to get up knowing I killed a black person. And I ain't bragging about it and trying to get rich off of it. I'm telling you motherfuckers, stop. Black people is the easiest motherfuckers to kill on the planet. We defenseless. We scared the motherfucker. And you motherfuckers running around killing us and shit. Since I'm older now and I look at all the things that I did, wrong man I, I just like feel feel bad about it you know i have i have a lot of dead on me i have a lot of dead on me here i stand done bent got represent i sent drove la every day nigga monthly yearly 34 to be exact niggas fear me atomic dog i'm in your zone your area bull massive pit bull terrier I'm coming through like the Wu dump in chambers. Thug life, get it right, nigga, danger. Seven shots to my body, ain't no killing me. Lock and load, double back, I had you feeling me. 40 Glock up on your block, headshot. Chest plate getting blown when the nine knocks. And in the distance, ain't no resistance. Say your homeboy swear they gonna murder me. Said they heard of me, they think I'm on a murder spree. But when they roll up and chase try to find me, that's when I'm dumping with the fat Mac 90. From the cradle to the grave, I've been kicking static. I've been around from revolvers to automatic. See, I'm a stand up, stomp down soldier. Much older now from back then when I was thugging in my stars on my black swing. See, I'm a G nigga married to this thug shit. Here the C-O-E, Sherm Sticks. That's how we do it, kicking back. <laughs> As I ride, smoking that tie, until stay lit, my eyes are slow, they flaming like fire. I keep them blazing, but I know I get so no higher. T-Man is something that cut with Levi's on creep. Fuck peace, if you got beef, let's handle it in the street. That's great, pancakes, my G's gon' bounce up. Spent by hunting on chronic and smoke the whole fucking ounce up. Bitches come and they go, T-Man go toss them all. I slay these things like a G, I make them niggas fall. Gun up, starts to roar and then rumble. Still grab the mic and stumble, I strike and niggas crumble. Back on up, nigga, back on up. T-Man is on the mic and bout to bang shit up like a tie. You ride from that bar west side. Got my cognac plus my old sack of chocolate tie. Goddamn, I'm in my city. G's on the loose, knockin' bus and sock. Yeah, man. 